Hi everyone, I'm Tammy from SiteMate. Poorly documented and unauthorized site instructions can lead to contract disputes due to unclear directives or cost overruns from scope creep. With Dash Pivot, you can easily initiate, approve, and transmit targeted site instructions to keep your project on track. And in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. In Dash Pivot, you can create a site instruction template entirely from scratch or choose from our public template library, which offers many ready to use templates. I'll search at the top here for site instructions specifically, and you can preview the format before adding it to your workspace. Keep in mind that everything that you see here is fully customizable once added. Our standard site instruction template includes fields such as the date of instruction, the type as a drop down list, various text fields for information, a photos tab, and a default table for resources required. We then have a sign off to approve and then move on to the next section for another stakeholder to complete. Once saved, the form will be shown in a workflow view like this. Our workflow type of template progresses a form through various stages with automatic notifications to alert relevant parties. So for example, you can set up the first column to notify the engineer foreman, while the second column is for the senior project engineer and so forth. This is to ensure that relevant people stay informed. Forms advance to the next workflow stage through the approval signature. For example, I'm the engineer and I finished off my first section, so I'm going to sign this off. And if we close this, you'll see that the form is now sitting in the second column. All of these site instructions created are then automatically compiled into a register, where information for all forms are displayed in a table format. You can use filters at the top and then select them to export their data as CSV or as PDF. Editing the template format is easy. Dash Pivot features a user-friendly drag and drop system, allowing you to format your template to best suit your organizations. Now to ensure that unique and important information is captured and not duplicated, fields can be made required and excluded from form cloning, and this can be found on the top left corner of each field. Another advanced settings here is logic, which is available for yes, no fields, lists, and the approval signature. For example, this question here, when the answer is no, we've used logic to display another text field to state the reasoning. As for the approval signature, you can utilize logic to ensure that only the right people are allowed to sign or reset the workflow. For example, for this senior project engineer sign off, we want to make sure that the permission is equal to or higher than project controller and they can approve or work for a reset at this stage. The list module can be used as a database with various properties. Let's use this subcontractor list as an example. Here we have information in text fields related to each subcontractor. And we have various expiry date fields where you can choose to be notified when the set date is approaching or when it is overdue. Information captured within your site instructions can then be analyzed further using analytics. For example, I've set up a ratio chart here to display the site instruction forms created broken down by the workflow columns. Photos of the work area are important for this use case because they provide visual clarity and context for the site instructions. These can be found in the Photos tab. Photo tags here can be created and applied for easy filtering when looking for specific images. GPS location can also be captured when photos are taken through the Dash Pivot mobile app, where a map will then be shown on the left-hand side here. If you need external parties to sign off on your document or review progress or forms, they can be added to your Dash Pivot workspace in the Users section under the Visitors tab here. With this, you can control their permissions and access similar to your internal team. Instructions can be created and submitted using our Dash Pivot mobile app for easy access. The site instruction forms are organized in a workflow just like on the web access. You can continue working on existing instruction or create a new one using that plus button. Photos can be taken directly on the app or choose to upload images from your device gallery. Once photos are taken or uploaded, you can mark them up to highlight certain details and apply tags during this step for easy searching later on. Photo stamps are also available to display information such as the date, time, logo, geotagging, description, etc. Just like what I have on the bottom left corner of this image here. If you have enabled location, you will also find the map on the bottom of the photo. Once completed, if you need to share a copy of this document with others right away, you don't have to use a computer to export it. 
Instead, you can send it as a PDF via an email directly from the app. The mobile and tablet app works offline and is available on both iOS and Android devices, making this process even more accessible for all personnel involved. Dash Pivot can be used for many other use cases and data can be synced to external tools such as SharePoint, Excel and Power BI using our integration product FlowSite. With this, you can seamlessly transfer your site instructions data from Dash Pivot to your preferred data storage or any other tools. Try Dash Pivot for site instructions today using our sign up link and let us know what you think. That's it for me for this video. I'll see you in the next one.